Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys my Lucha Underground Season 1, Episode 16 review. And this episode is called Caged Animals. And this episode was taped on January 18th, 2015, and it aired on February 25th, 2015. And uh, we had Matt Stryker and Bam Puro on commentary for this show. And this episode started off with the Black Loudest, and we see her... Um, all tied up in the trunk of um, an old school car being driven somewhere. They go back to this later on in the night, but I like the fact that it kicked off the show um, because it gave us some sort of follow-up on that uh, storyline last week, or the last episode. And then uh, we have the first match. It was Aerostar versus Drago. Uh, really good match here. I don't know if it was better than the first match, but it was still a really good match. Um, Ariel Star hits a really cool flip dive on the outside, Dra um, which causes him to hurt his knee. Drago hits a springboard DDT. Um, they both exchange roll ups on each other. I like that. I liked that sequence. It was really cool. Um, Drago hit a Hurricane DDT. Um, Ariel Star hit a super kick, and eventually the finish comes when um, and Drago tried to go for his submission, and Ariel Star then hit a um, sunset flip power bomb on the outside on Drago, and then a springboard 450 um inside the ring. Um, and he covers him and beats Drago. And afterwards, he sh he shakes his hand in respect uh to Drago. And this was a really good match here. I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna give it three and a half stars. It was really good. Afterwards, Dario Cueto comes out and says that um um. And pretty much announces um, a best of five series um, between Drago and uh, Aerostar. And whoever wins the best of five series will receive um, a unique opportunity. So it could mean a championship match, but when they didn't really go into detail about it. Um, and then what was the next match? I'm trying to remember. I think the next thing was the uh, Sexy Star Prince Puma backstage segment, but I gotta make sure, um, but I'm, I'll just cover that next, I don't think that was the next thing, but, uh, yeah, um, pretty much she gets, she's upset that, um, she's upset, um, that men keep being a few and helping her in her, um, in her matches, and she thinks that she, um, shouldn't have help, uh, because she can handle it on her own, so she wants a to prove it to Dario Cueto, and Dario Cueto says that she will face Big Wick in a one-on-one -on -one matchup um, on the next episode, and uh, if she wins, uh, and whoever wins will face the crew um, in a three-on-one -on -one handicap match, which was really weird, but whatever. Um, I liked it, though, and then afterwards, we had a video package for King Quano, um, kind of showing him training, which I thought was looked really cool. Um, then we had the next match, it was Cage versus Prince Puma, where the winner, where if Cage won, he would be the next in line for a, uh, Lucha Underground Championship match. Uh, Prince Puma immediately went after Cage, um, tried to beat the crap out of him, but Cage was just much too powerful, and Cage went for a springboard dive, Prince Puma pushed him off the top rope, and Cage dominates Prince Puma. He had to run in power slam, a really cool suplex, and then eventually, um, Prince Puma starts to make his comeback. He hits a um, a dive, um, a super kick. He picks him up by the fireman's carry position and um, drops him. He goes to hit a kick to the head, but Prince Puma counters into a wicked right hand. Uh, Prince Puma hits a Hurricane DDT. Um, Prince Puma hits a suicide dive on the floor, a flip dive on the floor. Um, he goes for the three sixty, uh, the six thirty, but Prince Puma counters and um, moves out of the way and hits a uh, spin and lariat, Prince Puma kicks out, um, uh, Prince, um, Cage goes for his gut wrench, um, um, face buster, but Prince Puma counters into a DDT, but then he hits it a second time, Prince Puma still kicks out, and who comes out, none other than, uh, Conan, who we hadn't seen since, uh, the Lucha Underground Championship match between Prince Puma and, uh, Cage, um, and Cage, Pretty much destroys Prince Puma. He hits War Machine on him, which I think is the name of his finisher, but I'm not really exactly sure. But it's pretty much a uh, gory, spinning gory bomb. And 
He's beating the crap out of uh, Prince Puma so much, but Conan throws in the towel, and which which means a submission, and Cage, and this gives the victory to Cage, which pretty much means now that Cage and Puma are going to have a future Lucha Underground Championship match. And afterwards, uh, backstage, um, Conan apologizes for throwing in the towel, but sometimes you got to pick and choose your battles, and that was a battle that you weren't going to win because it's all about, um, we have to have a plan when it comes to beating Cage. But Prince Puma still looked like he was pissed about it. And then we had uh, the next match. Um, all right, so um, I already talked about the Dario Cueto sexy stuff segment. Uh, that was after um, the Prince Puma uh, cage match. Next match, we had Vinny Marcelio versus P um, Pentagon Jr. Uh, Pentagon Jr. demands that this match be dedicated to his master. And Prince Puma Jr. pretty much squashes uh, Vinny Marcelio and he hits the um, um, the, three U the U3O, the U which is a pile driver variation for the win. And then afterwards, he grabs the table and hits the same move um, to Marcelio. And um, then he uh, breaks the arm of uh, Vinny Marcelio. I liked it. It made Prince Puma Jr. look really strong. And, no, sorry. Pentagon Jr. look really strong, and it was really good. Uh, so, yeah, I liked that. Then we had King Quano versus Johnny Mundo in the main event. And Johnny Mundo immediately attacks King Quano by King Quano. Is kind of able to get somewhat of an advantage because Johnny Mundo is so intent on getting his hand on King Quano. And Johnny Mundo fights off King Quano. And he uh, hits a flip dive on the outside. But then King Quano starts to tug at the injured leg of Johnny Mundo. Uh, but then eventually Johnny Mundo makes his comeback. Hits a dive on the outside. He hits a running knee. Goes for the end of the world. But Prince Puma moves out of the way. Prince Puma hits three suicide dives right on the outside. Which looked really damn cool. And this leads to a double count out. And, um, but Prince Puma and Johnny Mundo don't really care about the match at that point. They continue fighting. Prince Puma, uh, not Prince Puma, King Quano throws him in, um, head first into the steel post. And they fight all the way up to the top of the temple. Uh, King Quano throws Johnny Mundo into a wall. Johnny Mundo Irish whips him into, like, the railing of the stair. And they fight all the way on top of the temple. And eventually Johnny Mundo hits a belly-to-back throw, sending, um, King Quano, like, through this cage-like fence that was um, set up on top of the um, temple, which looked really cool. But I like this match. It was a really good match, and I didn't really mind the fact that no one really won here because this is still the beginning of the feud, and I like the um, fact that they had, you know, um, an all-out fight because it's probably leading to some sort of extreme type of match. And then we had the uh, ending of the show when... Um, uh, the Black Loudis is still trapped in that car, and who opens the car? None other than the first person that we saw, um, in Lucha Underground, the person, I forget his name, but the person, um, the gods of Lucha Underground, I'm just gonna call him, the person that brought in Dario Cueto, um, and says, what do you know about Lucha Underground? Well, what do you know about Lucha Libre? And then that was the end of the show. Overall, I thought this was a really good episode of Lucha Underground. I liked the, uh, I thought it had some really good matches. Had some nice, decent stories, and I thought it was a really good episode. I'll give it a 7.5. I'll give it a C+. Plus. Um, going over my star ratings, because I forgot to do that. Um, for uh, Rago versus Aerostar, that gets 3.5 stars. That was a really good match. Page versus Prince Puma um, will get also 3.5 stars. I thought that was really good. Um, Vinny Marcelio versus Pentagon Jr. gets 2 stars, and the main event will get 3.25. I thought that was pretty good. And, and then that's pretty much my review. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and share this video so people will watch it. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel for more con content and click on the bell so that way every time you upload a video, you guys will get the notifications for it. Make sure you guys do the same thing for my CM Brothers. I know I'm the Talkinator YouTube channels. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.